dot product and cross product between two vectors let's suppose we have two vector a dot b is the dot product between two vector is equal to unknown and the cross product a cross b is equal to unknown let's suppose vector a is equal to a x i plus a y j plus a z k where the i j and k are the components of vector a and vector b is equal to b x i plus b y j plus b z k now let's calculate the dot product between these two vectors a dot b is equal to a x i plus a y j plus a z k dot b x i plus b y j plus b z k now here you must keep in mind that in the component form the i dot i is equal to j dot j is equal to k dot k is equal to 1 this is because the i and i component are both along the x axis and they are parallel to each other and in product we in product rule we know that i dot i will be equal to i square cos of theta when theta is equal to or zero then we the only thing we have left is i square and this cos theta is equal to one that's why we write it here i dot i is equal to one j dot j is equal to k dot k is equal to one where for the multiplication of the ith component with the jth component like uh, i dot j this is equal to i j and cos of theta where theta we know that here the i component and j component are always perpendicular to each other that's why the angle between them is always equal to 90 degree and when the cos theta is 90 degree then we are left with zero that's why we don't need to write the i dot j and i dot k we will simply write i dot i component so this will become a x into b x into i dot i now for j component a y b y to j dot j plus a z into b z K dot K. Now I dot I J dot J K dot K is equal to one, and we are left with A dot B is equal to A X B X plus A Y B Y plus A Z B Z, and this is a scalar product. The value we will get here will be a scalar quantity and this is the dot product between two vectors now let's solve this second one the cross product between two vectors for cross product we write it as a cross b is equal to a x i plus a y j plus a z k cross b x i plus b y j plus b z k now taking the cross product we will use the determinant method that are i j and k and now solving these for uh, i j and k component we will have a x b x 
so a x a y and a z here we will have b x b y and b z now solving for i we will get i into these two will multiply minus these two a y b z minus b y a z now this is the second term we will need to write the j term as minus because in determinant the first one is positive the second one is negative the third one again is positive we will write it as minus j now this time for the j we will deal with the ax bz ax bz minus az bx now plus for the k component we will use ax by minus ay bx And this will be the final result a cross b is equal to c is equal to this whole term and this is the cross product between vector a and vector b where the dot product was equal to this term. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe easy video for more videos. Thank you.